how are we doing peeps? Uh, today is Monday the 14th of December 2020 Here we are in rainy London and if you hear the uh, noise around us um, it's the sound of the rain falling and um, oh, let me just cover this here alright, be very still because we don't have a lot of um, sound oh. yeah, so here we are Monday the 14th of December 2020 This is London Town, this is Kilgrave Park um, It is raining at this very moment Kilgrave uh, Park time now about 2pm Of course in the afternoon, not at night Temperature is about 4 degrees it's amazing that under 10 degrees it, it gets kind of really kind of cold. But even though it's 12 degrees when the wind blows and this rain, I don't know if you can see the rain. Um, so 12 degrees with the rain and a little wind, it's under 10 degrees. but. I'm not really feeling it like um, like it's real cold. Well, probably not cold and stuff on me. Uh, London Town. We are in a well, kind of a lockdown, but we are allowed to go out there and shop and spend as much money and Christmas and. kind of enjoy Christmas, but we are kind of in a, me I think in a terrible position at the moment. Um, America are having a coronavirus death rate of about 2,000 people a day. In the UK we have about 2,000 people a week. We have an average 500 people dying a day. The infection rate in the UK from 14,000, 20,000, let's say the average of 10,000 infections a day. We are in the part of winter because it's the 14th of uh, December, which we got about 10 more days before Christmas, which is about a week and uh, a little bit. And um, usually the health service is overrun by the respiratory and the cold and the old and the infirm and the immune deficiency people needing the service. Plus we're in a pandemic, plus we're in an economic pandemic, because not only is it a health pandemic now, it's an economic uh, pandemic. Plus we've got a the people that's been locked away for a few months now, we've got a sort of um, emotional, uh, a mental health uh, pandemic as well. And plus, in the UK, we got Brexit. And everything is coming together. And I do hope where you are, you're living in a 
it's shelter. It's, it, it takes away from the rain, a place that is warm, a place where you can have where you have food, and uh, you have emotional comfort. And I've seen lots of people in the park uh, walking the dog. I've seen a guy actually pull a dog along in a in a kind of shopping basket. And it's not necessarily a dog is a man's best friend, but you know, a friend and company in a situation like this um, keeps you safe, you know. And talking about keeping me saying hey, uh, a unit, uh, this friend I made contact and communication with in order to stop them from going crazy but in the form of how relationships work they actually drive me mad and you know in basic relationship and stuff uh, that's what happens you know people drive each other crazy and a lot of uh, emotional problems with this pandemic a lot of uh, people who um, love each other but because of the how they work and how they do things they don't spend much time together and during this pandemic they're literally locked up with each other and they find they've got a lot of and a lot of things have come to the um, Warrior. And so we've got a, a, a lot of, uh, not only mental health problems, but we've got a lot of problems where people suddenly realize the love of their life has become the hope of their life, you know. But this is what has happened in relation to uh, part of the side effects of the pandemic, you know. So a good friend which here's the unit part of the show. Communicate with them to stop them going crazy. They're not driving me mad. But that's all part of this pandemic. But here's what. Uh, America, Thanksgiving, everybody went out there and they went crazy and they're now suffering uh, the 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 after effects of that which the pandemic, the virus is rampant, 2,000 deaths on some days, average is about 1,000 deaths a day, and they're now paying the cost. Now they got Christmas coming up, and there isn't any really stringent policy all over America. So that means everybody's going to go crazy over there uh, during Christmas. So the fallout for that would be 14 days um, a month. So let's say let's say the middle of January, America is going to go um, crazy. Well, it's gone crazy already. It's going to go worse. And part of the false uh, narrative or the false uh, security is America has decided to take on board the vaccine, the same one the British uh, have, the Pfizer one. And the problem with that, it's in two parts. And you take the first part, and then three weeks later, you've got to take the second part. It's not until about 14 days later you get your immunity. So that means that's going to be in the middle of January, if you count it down from now, which is the 14th of, of December. Now, so everybody will be going out and doing this stuff like, you know, they've got immunity. And come the middle of January, America is really gonna, really gonna feel it. It's gonna be something like 16,000 now 
can do, you can double it, it might be 6,000, add, add a little bit extra there, it might be 10,000 a day time in the middle of January 2021. Now, that's going to be really, really interesting. Now, back in the UK, we are in, everybody's in shopping mood and party mood and going out and like, we got a vaccine and uh, we're going to be alright. But we too are going to fall to that same, same thing that's going to happen to America. America never had, uh, UK never had the, the uh, Thanksgiving, but we had the ease of the restrictions on the 3rd of December, which was like um, about 10 days ago. The things are getting so serious that today, at the end of today, some of the schools, well, not some of the schools, one of the schools will actually, um, in one area, uh, Greenwich, would be in lockdown. All the schools in uh, Greenwich would be locked down. No one's going to go to school, go to stay at home, only two workers can send their kids to the school. And the Mayor of London, is really showing that um, we should be actually I'm not quite sure what they're saying we should be in lockdown for the school but there's a few people saying that we should be in lockdown uh, for the school by the way it's pouring down with rain I don't know if you hear the rain or you can see the rain and uh, you know so we are kind of on the edge of a so in the next couple of days we could have a full lockdown in London which means no um, only essential service and only vital services, you know, um, only food and petrol and but Germany has cancelled Christmas. We don't know what's going to happen in the UK, but because it's raining hard, and I haven't done my food preparation for this, and I'm getting up, I'm going to shut down everything and I'm going to shut down the next 